sure my hair is tied up tight with these black um, headbands because I don't want to get in my way. I had a good nap this evening. I'm exhausted. So I accomplished quite a bit today. I finally got her face painted. Now you're about to understand why when I designed this doll, I made her head shaped where it's like this and it's a bit oblong where it's kind of a little abnormally shaped that was done on purpose. Now you're going to know why. Okay, that's why this part is shaped, but it's going to be, she's going to have hair like this, but it's going to be sort of like a Princess Leia look. The back of the head, that's paint and gesso that has been sanded. Um, yeah. And it's rough. I had to leave it rough because we are going about to project with some gesso. Um, I have my Liquitex Gesso Medium right here. I'm going to use it as a gluing agent. And we have yarn. First, I'm going to start with this. And I'm going to use that glue to glue it on. And here are the two braids that are painted. What do you mean, oops? Look, she, I just started, sweetheart. I've only been on for one minute and 15 seconds. You're good, sweetie. So I already went ahead and did my braids. I got them pre-done, had them pre-made, okay? Her hair will be something, it's gonna all be painted. So I'm using yarn to do um, texture. Hi, Paris. I love you girls. Thank you, sweethearts. Now, if you are part of my membership program, you are more than welcome. This is a safe place for you to comment, participate. If you're not part of my membership program, this is your opportunity to join, to be a part of exclusive chats like this. Because in exclusive chats like this, I've had 22,000 people, 22,000 views this week, okay? It gives you an opportunity to be seen, for people to see you, and also to help you build your YouTube channel. So some of my subscribers can come over and be like, oh, okay, she subscribed to Selena, she chats, she talks, and... I encourage them to I encourage people to come and be a part of your YouTube channel as well. So it's kind of like what I call I share the love. Okay, so we got her painted. We got her boots done. So this is the results of her boots. <laughs> I had some people laughing earlier because they thought they were real boots. But I'm actually gonna once these have been glossed and I remove the painter's tape, I'm going to make a real ribbon bow. And I'm going to apply it right here and right here. So to be real ribbon, to give you the illusion of real laces. Okay, I always do a little touch up. So if that happens, it's normal. So things like that. So yeah, these are hand painted I did earlier. Once I apply a few little touch ups and apply the gloss sealer, they will look so real. So here's the face. All right, so let's get started. I need to... Put this towel because I'm going to have her somewhere over here near the sink. I am going to have her at the sink. What am I talking about? But I'm going to have, to have her placed in a certain position because it can get a little messy. Don't worry. I'm about to redo my um, camera to let y'all see what I do. Here we go. All right. So I got everything laid out like this so you can see it. Yeah, I had to wash a few dishes. Okay, looking my work area. Okay, okay, okay. Yarn yarn you can see it you can see my little container here okay i think we're ready to begin with gesso when i did the when i started taking cloth doll making classes i never did a video I, because back when i started you didn't do a live video you were recording videos you did recordings and then you uploaded them to youtube okay apply a little bit of water I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to blend, mix that in. Because I'm going to be using this kind of like a glue. And gesso is what painters use for their um, canvases and things like that. But there's so many things you can use it for. I'm using it as glue. Okay. Make sure this is very well mixed evenly. I'm going to start with this on first because it's going to create an illusion of hair. It's going to look weird until I paint it. Once I paint it, I will be painting baby hairs and things like that. But that won't be tonight. I will not be painting because I have to let this dry. It has to dry. Once I get all of this on there good and everything, it has to dry. 
Okay, this is actually the plastic that comes with a book from American Girl Dolls. I'm just going to set that in the sink. I'm doing this without gloves. And I'm going to be using this here with a few pieces of hair. And I'm actually going to cut these in half. Because this hair is going to be stuck onto the head. It doesn't matter what color the yarn is for this type of project. Really, it doesn't matter because you're not going to see the actual yarn. I'm going to be painting it once it's dry. I'm doing this to add texture. Like that, see? And then what I do is I'm coming over to my doll. Once I make this nice and flat, straight like. And believe no, these dolls are so not cheap. Okay, I'm applying it, I'm applying it like this. And then I'm creating the illusion of it going up into a circle. Because everything else is going to end up being painted on. Oh my god, this is not working like I planned. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to have to wrap her up and then apply this on. I need it to be spread out thinner. It needs to spread out thinner. So I'm going to have to apply this like one piece or two pieces at a time. Yeah, that looks like it. Just two little pieces of yarn. Come on now, stay. I need you to stay. Maybe I need to put a straight pin in it. Okay. So, dolls were made like this. Way back before we had dolls made of plastic and celluloid or things like that. This was how they were done. Okay, what I'm going to do is wash my hands up real quickly and I'm going to set her up. I'm going to move this set her up over here. Let me think. What can I set her in? What can I set her in? Ah. Uh, the bow. Would this be good? Okay. I'm grabbing her where the tape is. Okay. So now I'm setting her up. Don't worry. I'll end up bringing the camera over. There we go. Set her in this bow because I need the hair to dry. So whenever I do paint. I'm not fitting in here for her very well. So, I think this will work. Maybe? No. The hair? Oh my god, it's so little loopy. Maybe I put a little too much water in it. Because it's going to dry onto the head. And I'm doing it just to give it the texture and feel. Earlier. Now I'm applying this around the dish towel around the doll. I don't care about dish towel. It's a lot more easier replaceable and a lot cheaper to replace. Okay, yeah, this is too liquidy. So we're going to thicken this up some. And I'm going to put some on my hands, make it a little more thicker to apply this here. So I'm not worried about it being perfect where I'm trying to close it off at because the braids are going to cover this. I just need to give it texture near the front. There we go. I'm looking to see if it's slipping anywhere on the top. No. 
and I can lift up and I can zoom in. And you can catch it. Alright, focus camera. I'm going to clean the lens part off. Okay. I'm moving the light around. Okay. Oh, I should have set her up right there. Hold on, I'll move her. But I have to prepare my area. Okay. And I can set that right there. Okay, I don't need the water, so I'm going to set it there. But I got these things over there. Okay. Let me clean up my little mess. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm cleaning it up. All right. I'm going to set oil, set her right there. Now I can come out of zone, there. Focus right about here. So I have my workspace right here as well. Okay, so you can see the strands of yarn because I'm going to be painting her part with little baby hairs, but the yarn is to give the illusion and texture of hair. Now that these pieces have been setting for a little bit, I can go ahead and apply them. Pretty much about like this. Okay. And I'm looping and pressing the piece of yarn up against the head. It's quite a very intricate prestigious process to do this. It is by all means the hardest when it comes to making a doll. But the details are just absolutely amazing and make everything worth it. Okay. I think I should have just done the braids and ugh, made this here go last and one end and wrap around a braid or something. Give her a side look. It's not too late to do that. But to do that, I'm going to have to go get some hot straight pins. I think that's what I'm doing. Yep, I've just had a last minute change of mind. So, there. I'm taking it off, put it back in here with the gesso. a mess as I go. Okay. Oh my god, I have so much gesso on it, I can't even pop a pen into the head. Like, literally, I can't. Okay, there it went. So I'm putting pants, yo, there's water dripping down her forehead. It's fine, it's not going to do anything to her pain. I think I'm going to do her hair a little slightly to one side than the other.
same shape pins all the way in through, certainly all the way around. I'm going to put one here. Okay. That should do it. So you see I have all the pins. Now, that'll make this go a lot easier. So I'm going to grab my original, the other idea first. Where I'm just going to end up taking this yarn that I've already put gesso in. I'm going to put all of the rest of this yarn inside. Let y'all see how messy this is. And I'm simply going to push all of this yarn into this gesso. Because these are little strands and pieces. But first, I'm going to attach the braids. First, we we'll attach the braids. And that's going to help this attach on not only to the braids and bobby those pins, not bobby pins, but straight pins. It's going to make it a lot easier. Okay. So, now I'm going to put all of this yarn inside of a cup. It's go set. I'm not worried about it drying right now because guess so does not dry that fast. And it's so white and highly pigmented. It's glue and porcelain powder. Okay, I need to wash this out because it was clean. Okay. And I'll set this up here. Well, I'm going to thank you put on gloves, but you don't. It's messier and worse with gloves. All right. Oh, guess so. I'm not going to water this down. I'm not thickening it up. Okay. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Okay. Like I said, this the braid is to provide the texture and the appearance of hair that's braided because it's going to be painted. Now I know why I only did one doll like this in my lifetime. I forgot how hard and difficult this is. This is normally a $225 doll. But the reason why it's cheaper because they supply, they, they did the, they purchased all the supplies. The big thing, I guess so, the fabric, all of that. So if you, someone was to supply all of the materials that I needed, yes, the price would be cheaper. And for the price of a doll like this, to actually do it, I would charge $125. That to $165, depending on the size. Okay. Now I'm going to squeeze our excess. See how thick it is. Yeah, it's that thick. 
and I'm going to now start applying it onto the doll's head. Wait, let me get that a moment. Actually, I need that to be a little more thicker on this side. The first time I did this, I did it outside on the porch, back when I had the house. Alright, now we're going to stick it up here and focus on the doll. Okay, here we go. Okay. All I do is think to myself, oh my god, girl, if you mess up, that's a lot of work. I need to push this pin in deeper and connect this on to that. Alright, I need you to come on back out, open up, there it is, perfect. This is why people don't do this technique anymore. Because it's so difficult. If it were easy, everybody would probably do it more often. Okay. Now I have to go in with pins and secure this. So I left some up. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to press it in. Ah, there we go. Perfect. I'm not worried about any paint that gets in the face that can be fixed in the hair. Richard. Oh, hi, Richard. Hi, sweetheart. Darling. Okay. I need to do what else? Okay, I want you two to be stuck together. All right, pull and push this like. There we go. I need to have them where I can see them. And I need this head to be pressed firmly against the doll's head. Okay, there we go. So, this is why I made her head the shape it is. She's going to have these loops of braids on each side. And then, as I take other little loose pieces of yarn to fill in empty spots, and it create something of a part afterwards. I should have done a dish for that. I need a washcloth. Okay. It actually gives this gives me anxiety because I haven't done it in so long. Woo, child, let me tell you. Okay. 
I'm going to go get a washcloth. Uh, well, a bath cloth. I think it's a good idea for cleaning. People. All right, now my hands are dry. I'm coming back in and I'm looking at little areas and I'm putting more pins to put the hair in place. I want it to be very stuck to the head and it will be with all of this gesso. Perfect. All right, all right. Alright, see, I got my rag, wipe my hands off on. Alright, here we got darlings. Now, with this next spray, we're gonna dip it. Here it is in gesso again. Raphael, I hope you are watching. This is your doll. Do you see how much work I'm doing, child? Raphael is security guard. And believe me, there's plenty of contact to computer system to find people where they live and everything. Okay, we're putting our gesso in here. My God, you know what? I should have just used a glue gun and glue gun this sucker on her head. Why didn't I just do it the easy way? The easy way would have been so much better. Lord have mercy, I wouldn't have been going through all of this, but this is the thing. The easy way is easy for a reason, because it's quick and easy. But you don't always get the best results. You don't always get permanent results. And imagine what it was like in the 1800s when they would make cloth dolls like this. There was no easy way. There were several people working endless days and nights to have enough merchandise to sell in their stores. I mean, they were constantly working and way back in those days, these dolls were so cheap and it was very time consuming for people who had doll shops and things of like that. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse off again. I'm gonna put a straight pin into the tip and push it into our head. Now those other pins that are in her head throughout are going to hold the pieces of yarn because this way they won't slide. You'll see in a moment the yarn is inside that cup. All right. I'm trying not to touch the braid because I'm sticking a straight pin in it. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to let it rest on top of her head so I can get it stuck into her head. Where did the other one go? Oh, right up there. Come on, go in, go in. Oh, there we go. All right. That went in. Easy peasy. Girl, I need you to like be still. Can you do that for me? Because you're moving a little too much. You're moving more than I do. So the straight pins that are already in place, that's what I'm using to get this hair to come down. I know, I, I, so I'm gonna take this straight pin out and I'm gonna apply it right here. Come on, there we go, there we go. Oh my God, I don't even have the camera set up over here. Oh geez. Sorry, y'all. I was thinking I had my whole um, area covered. There. Oh my gosh, I can already tell she is going to look so freaking amazing when she is done. Oh my gosh. This one's going to look better than the first one. Raphael, if you're watching, oh my God. This girl is going to be looking so good. 
She's gonna look better than the one of mine that you wanted. She really is. I can already tell. Cause yours has got thicker hair, but yours is slightly bigger. It doesn't matter if I got gesso on her face because, hello, I can repaint it. Okay, I'm pushing pins in here to push it on so it will stick. The gesso will dry onto our hair. Now I'm going to remove this pin and I'm going to take a little bit of this yarn and place it into that yarn and then I'm going to push it into our head. Now, y'all are getting a doll making class lesson tonight. How do you like it so far? Isn't it complicated? Imagine trying to make one of these yourselves. It's a lot more complicated. But, I mean, the good thing is I'm taking my doll making skills and I'm putting them to use. And I'm doing it on video. Oh my God, girl, stop sliding. She must have gay ass because she keeps sliding back. Okay, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Now, this is like I said, it's done for texture. Once that's done and in a couple days, it'll be dry and stuck onto the head. And when that happens, I will come in and I will paint it. I will paint the hair. All right, I'm going to rinse my hands off because I'm going to try the other yarn. And I'm going to get everything rearranged and set up so you can see it more clearly. Come on, if you're, if you're enjoying this process, please do hit like and subscribe. And you do have the option. I do. I love tips. Trust me. Poor broke girl got bills to pay and it helps. It does. Okay, so there's a braid over there getting heavy see give you an idea there's this side the hair will be painted so now you understand why her head was made the way I made it okay okay so now it is time for me to take that other yarn I got these Pin stuck in her head because I'm going to create the illusion of hair to like it's sort of going into a part and I'm thinking she's gonna look good with it starting somewhere up around here and some of it coming over to there which means I gotta stick some other pin in her head some more pins let me see I said about right there I better do it in the middle because that's how they did it back then Okay, and put this one right about there, and this one right about there. Okay, that one's fine. Push that in tighter. Oh boy. Like I said, this is added to give texture. Oh. Darn it. And you know this is gonna be white on her head. okay I can wipe that off in a minute while it's wet so it's not a problem yet okay let me see this. I'm wetting my sponge
See, it did not mess up her paint that's already there because it's permanent. That's why I use, I use good acrylic. Perfect. So that's giving me a curve to go by to give texture. So when it's painted, it's going to like hair that's slightly parted. Now I'm going to go and do the same thing on this side and have hair coming over here. But I'm going to do something a little different because I need to apply a pen. right here so this does not drop any lower than what it is okay the back of her head no i have to apply sealer when i spray paint this with clear sealer i'm using a gloss sealer a semi-gloss it's gonna make her have the appearance of being a leather doll she will look like leather Rinse the sponge out. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm looking around. Okay, 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 okay. Let me tell you. Okay, I'm going to remove this one. And I'm going to bring it about like there. Uh-uh. Yeah, about right there. Maybe go up, because I'm gonna have to paint hair. I just remember that. Okay, there we go. Okay. Checking the back. All right, that looks all right. I'm having two pieces of yarn. I'm not going to make this go all the way around her head. I'm coming down around like this. And I'm going to bring it up around there. And bring it up around here. Like that. Yep, it's coming to the back. I'll show you in a few minutes, don't worry. Like I said, it's texture. I'm giving texture. Because when this dries and then I start painting, you'll understand so much more. So I want to get this side a side wave and that side a more normal look because back then they didn't have straight combs or whatever. So I want to look kind of realistic. Yarn. And we are going to start about right there. Come over here. Don't worry, I'm putting a little space in it because, like I said, I'm not trying to make it look like a full head of yarn. It's giving it texture. Pain is like makeup. You know, it gives you the illusion of looking perfect. Okay. Set that piece in there. Set this in. Okay, there we go. Her hair will be brown.
that side's done. I will show you in a few minutes the intricate design I created in the back of our head to make it look like our hair is going over into the Princess Leia light bun. Almost. Because once this is painted, it's going to be like, wow. I'll get it drawing pretty quickly. Um, no, only in two minutes, I guess. Okay, so I need to pull this green pin out and push it into her hair, into the head. There it is. Push them in tight. And yeah, it's hard pulling these pins out because once this gesso dries and the yarn is stuck, look at that. Now you got the vision? Now do you have the idea where we're going with her? And where do you see her dress? Oh my God, I haven't made it yet. Yeah, I have to make her dress, her petticoat, and she will have an apron with embroidered appliques. Appliques, appliques, appliques. Okay, let's go to the other side. And I'm using, there we go. Now you can see, this is what I do to relax and calm myself. I do doll stuff. But to be honest, I'm actually creating art. Because this is art. But in a different form, it's a 3D form. Girl, I need your arm to lift you up better than what you're doing. What you got going on over there? Okay, there. I do not have a fan to set her under either. Oh my God, you know what? The white is looking pretty. But she's not going to have white hair. It's going to be brown, I'm telling you. We go paint it brown. I can hear Ruffy. I'm calling it now. Oh, my gosh. She is gorgeous. I just love it. I can hear that child all big. All right. I need this to stick on. Come on, girl. Stand. Stay up. Stay up. I need this hair to stick on. How am I going to do that? You know what? We're going to double this one. I ain't got time to be going through hoops and nannies playing with you. There we go. Stick it on this hair pin I got back here. Now pull it over. Stick it onto your head. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. I need to fill in that little hole right there with some of the loose yarn. Why, what is wrong with you? Girl, there, I need you to be stale, be stale. Okay, now I'm going to have to move this towel. The towel is making her slip. And now I'm at the, so you see the front. All of that would be brown with some baby hairs. There's a side. So now look at the design. See the design that comes around like that? Look. So when this is painted, that design gets painted. Yeah, that's going to be quite a bit of paint. It's going to look gorgeous though. Where do you see it? It's going to be like she got an intricate um, braided pattern. That's how it's going to look. 
once it's painted and dried, push that back down in here. Okay. All right. So now all I have to do is fill in that little spot and then put her somewhere to dry. I need your arm. There we go. That's better. Let me read some comments. Uh, look, you booger sitting there saying hello. Y'all done got quiet now. Okay. I would have said nothing from my journey. All right, there we go. We took that yarn and we're filling in that little spot right there. And we are pressing it down because it ain't coming out. Now, it's been filled very well. Okay. Now I can take this pin. I'm going to apply it into the hair. Press it into her head. Richard, honey, thank you. I'm glad you like my work. I appreciate it. And this is what it is. It is work. It's art. It's cathartic. And it's hell. It takes a lot. It takes a lot. It takes a lot. This is definitely a lot of work. Okay, I can pour this bobby pin on the back of our head and drop it in there with the others because that one I didn't need. As for the other bobby pins, yes, they will be needed immensely. So, she has plenty of gesso on one side of her head. Now I'm going to turn her around because I need to apply some of the guests on this thing into this hair some more because I want it to dry nice and hard. to keep me busy and I thank you. Okay, so I have extra yarn with the gesso. I don't need, but I am gonna apply the other more gesso with this brush. It's inside the cup. Facebook, somebody posted in the doll circle. Shout out to the doll circle. See, once I end up painting all of this brown, um, it's going to look very detailed. It's going to be hard, and as in the feel, but it's going to have this appearance to look at the braid like it's attached to her head. We have time. Now the only thing for her to do is to set and dry. And I'm going to keep the towel wrapped around her. Right there. Yeah, let me cut this tail light off. I think. Yeah. And I'm going to take my camera up. Come out of zoom. Am I out of zoom? <laughs> okay. Okay. So here she is. Richard, sweetheart, I can't read your comments because I'm looking in the screen and I'm holding a light. Okay, so, anyway. There are her braids pinned to her head. Nice little wave going on there with texture. to caffeinate a coffee because guess what I'm gonna to have to do um, there see the pattern up there yeah 
And once it's painted, it's even going to have so much more detailing. Okay, let me disconnect that wire. Okay. Turn it around. There we go. So you can see where the pins are. I'm going to have our scalp painted down to here. It'll be painted. So we have a very intricate design. Um, as you can see, the yarn, see how it gives it texture? It's like a very intricate hair design as if it's been braided up that way. Yep, and it's got lots of paint. And it will be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And once she's been painted with gloss, she's you're not going to see like these little line areas. None of that would be noticeable once she's been sealed with the gloss paint. Because I will go over it about three times in light gloss and make it thick. Yep, her hair is going to be about the color of her eyebrows. We're going to paint it like that. Give us some definition. Okay, everyone, that's it. She's a done deal for now. Um, yep. But on purpose, I wanted to give a slight wave like this. Because, like with my hair, if I part it in the middle, one side is going to wave up. And the other side will come down straight and frame her face. So now you know why I made her head to be the shape that it was. Because... This helps me get that look, and that gives her authenticity. Look at her eyes. They got blue, they got green, they got a little turquoise. Um, let me see, turn this around. I will show you what her skirt's going to be made of. I mean, her dress. I think I was showing everyone. The vision, the vision, the vision. Not everyone is blessed with a vision. Okay, so I'm going to show you the fabric. Her dress will be made of. She will come, she will be made, she will have bloomers. She will also have a petticoat underneath her dress, and she will have an apron. Ta-da! This is her dress right here. Let's get in close. See that? That's going to be her dress. That's why I had to add a little green in her eyes because it's going to make this pop. Her dress is going to be made of this. Um, her bloomers and petticoat out of this pretty white. And she's going to have these embroidered appliques. See how they go well with her dress? See? Dress, apron, petticoat, underskirt, and also this. She's got several layers. So this here is going to be on her apron. Look. If you want something that's quickly done out of cheap materials, you go right ahead and get it. But when you contact me and ask me about a price, I give you a price. That is because I'm adding up in my head how much time this is going to cost me. And this doll is taking me this doll and the other one because they're made for the same person. So far, it's been, I want to say, about four weeks. It takes me six weeks to pretty much complete anywhere from two to four weeks to do one doll like this. Or even the other one. It can take two to four weeks. But for this project, because I'm doing two dolls for the same person, it is taking me six weeks to complete this for them. Because I'm doing two different dolls. They're larger size. A lot of painted details. A lot of painted details. And it takes so long for it to dry. Um, and then once this process... I'm doing a very old-fashioned um, technique. A very old antique old technique that was starting back in the 1800s using the materials that I'm using. The gesso was about empty already. This big thing of gesso was what I've been using. And it's a good thing Raphael did get the big one because I, it's about empty. I had to do so many layers. But this girl's face is done and she has a beautiful, sweet, serene face. And... Raphael's going to love this doll right there. This is what I call a very Americana look. And so she has a very Americana look. I wanted her to look sweet and serene. But this is also my way of showing you, as an artist, my different ways of painting. So she's leaning a little bit tilted because she's probably sitting on one of her hands. Oh. But anyway, she's a heavy little booger. Um, yeah, so, but I wanted to give her a very sweet and sincere appearance, sweet, serene look, um, natural color, rose pink lip, 
eyes that pop and once I put sealer this is going to be amazing and her hair is going to be the color of her eyebrows but yeah this is how they used to do um, old school dolls except I think mine's better I'm not saying that like I'm con conceited in a conceited sort of way of my work I'm saying it because I've seen them and I'm sure the other dolls did look good back in the day when they were new you can google 1800s cloth oil painted doll and you'll see what I'm talking about and what I did I went that extra step deeper with the hair uh, because most of them the hair is just painted and I wanted to create something that was more 3d effect so I took two or three different types of dolls because the style of boot that I painted on this doll let me show you her boots yeah, once I apply the clear paint on these and gloss them up, they're going to look amazing. I'm going to do a real bow on here to make it look real. Uh, but that's going to end up being glossy. And this is painter's tape to protect the rest of the doll's fabric. And she's going to have those other shoes and boots. So I'm creating art, a doll art. Oh my God, I got to put this doll in the fair. Oh my God, and probably win ribbons. Which, I'm not worried about it. My dolls have been in magazines. So, anyway, wait till we get her painted. And wait till we get her all glossed up. She's going to look so incredibly gorgeous. Yep. Oh, but that doll is a combination of three techniques. Of three antique style dolls. The shoes, the way they're painted. The boots, I mean. And then the hair. Um, and then the design. I designed the pattern. It's unique. It's mine and mine only. And this doll would be next. Her boots are going to be the same way, but they're going to be white. Um, her face is nice and smooth. And she is going to have extensions that are sewn on. Now, she's ready for me to paint her face. Yep, this doll is ready for me to paint her face. And I don't know if I'm doing that tonight. I'm going to wait. A little bit. I'm going to wait a little bit on her and since I just finished that one. But what I am going to do in a few moments is because I received from one of my followers. They sent me two American Girl dolls. One is getting an eye swap. I'm moving some things out of the way. Okay, here they are. This is what's coming up next tonight. Here. Okay. She's getting going to get a glam makeover. This one is basically going to get restoration. She's getting an eye swap. Her eye turns silver. So I'm simply going to clean them. I'm going to take the heads off, clean the bodies, and I'm going to give her an eye swap with pretty brown eyes. So she's a good, and that one's going to get a glam makeover, and here is her wig. So I need to put that with her to keep them separate. So that is what's to come as you see i thank god i'm occupied with projects make me a little make me a little shmoney on the side you know to cover things that i need so i'm not buying anything that i want i'm only buying what i need uh yep oh my god i'm exhausted already oh. i guess because i've been working so hard with this but oh my god she looks amazing i'm just so proud of that look I love her sweet face. Oh. And this is all done by hand. But yeah, I, I love I'm so happy with the way her face came out. Very sweet, serene, and sincere. Don't worry, this little trip you see, it does it's fine. It happened. But it's nothing for me to get cried about. Look at those eyelashes and the eyebrows. See the tones in her eyes, bluish and green, because that green's going to um, really pop with that pink and green dress I'm making for her. And like the little lines you see from brush strokes and where the doll was done. Once she is glossed up with a, um, when she's sealed up with a gloss paint, a spray paint, a specific one, not from Amazon. <laughs> okay, it's not imported from China either. But anyway, once she's done, after the hair is painted, once she's all glossed up, none of that will even be noticed. And she's going to look like a leather doll. She will look plastic or leather. 
Okay, and that's all it is for my world right now. So, good night, everyone. I wish you the best. Hope you have a good night and blah, blah, blah. No, I'm just kidding. I do hope you have a wonderful night. And I hope your weekend. I hope you're getting ready and have a good weekend. Um, ask me. I'm gonna let her set somewhere else, find a different place for her to go. So I will talk to y'all soon. Keep an eye out. If you hit the um, bell and receive notifications, mm -hmm. you will get to see the entire process go through with her. Um, so I'm hoping. I don't know if I can be able to paint her tomorrow or not. We have to wait and see if that's dry. I'm hoping so. I'm going to set her somewhere in the floor area um, or in a chair and put something behind her head so she can dry. Oh, she'll be fine. She's got pins sticking out so her head won't hit the back of the chair. So, yeah. Okay. Bye. Good night.